Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. Today we're gonna be playing my main deck again basically, but with just with the bomber. But it's just like the deck I played last season. And when the wall breakers come out, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll replace the bomber with the wall breakers. And I also think the <laughs> Evo Bomber will get an emergency nerf because pretty much everyone is using it on top ladder at the moment. So um, yeah, they need to em emergency nerf it as fast as possible, in my opinion. And when they emergency nerf it, then at that time probably the wall breakers will come out and they will be broken as well. So <laughs> let's see if the wall breakers get emergency nerf because... Even though with the nerf they already did, I still think they're gonna be OP. Because look at the bomber. And originally originally they wanted that it doesn't die to arrows, but they changed that and it does does die to arrows, but it's still so broken, so yeah. And they already changed the explosion damage from the wall breakers also, because there was just way too much. Two wall breakers could kill like barbarians and they didn't even need to connect on tower so that was kind of crazy but they already fixed that before release so yeah let's see how broken they're gonna be okay sorry for not focusing on this game too much just wanted to talk a little bit about the evil wall breakers and stuff okay this is a really really bad matchup because yeah he has bomber arrow snowball and i can't really defend his lava push as well I'm just holding on because I'm pressuring him well and he's actually defending. But once he actually yeah, ignores my pushes, <laughs> he will just take my tower. So if he's smart, he will just ignore this now. And I'll just lose my tower. Okay, yeah, he, he ignores it. That's smart by him. Okay, I'm just gonna set up a bomber in the back. And then I can go for Valkyrie Kite onto those minions. Not the best minions. He should have put them behind the lava. Okay, he goes for his bomber. That's gonna splash a little bit, but that's fine. He only got one bomber shot. I can't really keep this tower, so just gonna stop defending it and go for like offense. Okay, this is not really good. I mean, we get a lot of damage, but now we are dealing with two lavas. And he's, he's about to drop the next one, right? <laughs> okay, I have to... Yeah, he best the third lava. I can't defend this. I have to somehow take his tower. I'll go for both spirits because he's got a minions. Yeah, exactly. Okay, wait. Can we actually take his tower? <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> no way he lost that matchup. <laughs> GG's. We are in the next game against this guy. Yeah, this guy runs hog. Don't really have the best hand to defend this. Or overall, can't really consistently defend the hog. So, gonna be a really hard matchup here. But maybe we can do something. The Bomber is kind of OP, so if we get a good lock onto his Knight or stuff. Okay, he has okay, he has a weird Hawk Rider um, deck. I think I can remember his deck, but I'm not really sure. I think he has Mini Packer as well. And um, yeah, he still has Firecracker, but okay. Good damage here. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna rocket that and activate the king tower. Pretty nice. Good king tower activation. Okay, hopefully he doesn't lock predict us. Okay, good, he doesn't. Just gonna go for barrel here. He can't lock both sides, so... Okay, he has to defend those evo skellies. Yeah. Okay, he have quick stat. I knew he had something for that, so I didn't get too excited. Okay. Maybe we can get like a good bomber splash here. Okay, nice. That's one shot. I'll take it. He's gonna activate the king here, but I don't really mind that. Because he mostly defends with lock and stuff anyways, so... Okay. Nice. We get a um, barrel shot. Okay, let's see when he hogs. It's really hard for me to defend hogs without taking a hit, but... Okay, just gonna go for my bomber here. And that's gonna be a hit, unfortunately. 
Okay. Pretty bad earthquake, I feel like. I'm just gonna go fire spirit in front and he still has to respond to that. Okay, he goes for bed. Okay. <laughs> bad timing and that same moment I put my dart goblin in the back. But it's fine. Okay. Just gonna go for my rocket, yeah. I knew he would go for earthquake or something. Way too obvious to go for Evo Skellies there. So I went for Evo Skellies onto the mini packer. And that way his earthquake didn't do anything. Good rocket onto the hawk there. Okay. I can just um, try to cycle to my next barrel here. Okay, he goes for hawk. That's smart by him. That way we're not gonna be able to outcycle him. Maybe we can get a bomber lock here. Oh, nah. <laughs> Pretty unlucky, but I guess it's hard to line that up. Okay. I'm just gonna go for Valk Skellies here. Okay, he goes for Hog. I feel like we can defend that for no hits. Okay, pretty nice. Good defense here. Man, we are still in the lead. I don't know how we are still in the lead. Okay, Fire Spirit jumps. Okay, I have to go for my Evo Skellies Ice Spirit here. He couldn't afford to go for Earthquake because we also went for the barrel. He's not back to his log. I'm gonna go for... Um, yeah, okay, good. We force out the, the ice golem. Let's see when he hawks. I'm just gonna rocket the hawk. Because, yeah, he's just gonna support it. Yeah, exactly. There's his firecracker. I can just bomber to block the firecracker shot. Okay. <laughs> Man, we have to outcycle him or something because we can't rocket cycle him. So, okay, I have to rocket that. This is getting pretty hard. Man, okay. Yeah, good prediction here. I knew he would hawk in front of that, but man, that's still gonna get a shot. That's that's so broken. I have to go for the rocket now. But two rockets are not enough, so I need some tower damage. Okay, he's gonna lock, so I go for barrel. Okay, can my barrel do enough? Okay, no. <laughs> GG. Really nice game here. I'm gonna keep it in, I think, because, yeah, a lot of you guys asked me to show losses, and I feel like I played pretty good here, but nothing I can really do in that matchup. We are in the next game here against Ruben. Ruben's one of the best players in the world. He has won a Clash Royale um, League Final, so, yeah, he's one of the best players of all time, actually, not just a really good player. Okay, gonna go for my bomber like this, so the ability is not gonna do too much and the archers die. Okay, I don't really know what he's running right now because there's not a lot of decks with Monk at the meta right now. But since he has Fisher, I'm guessing it's RG because, yeah, Fisher and Monk synergize with RG pretty well. I can just go for Skellies here actually and go for my Evo Bomber and that's gonna be on tower. Look at that, that's two shots, four shots. One more? <laughs> That's six shots, man. Not even people like Ruben expected that early into the game. Kind of crazy. Okay, I have my Evo Skellies now. Man, I can just go for Evo Skellies. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he went for RG also. <laughs> Not too smart. This man didn't really keep track of my Evo cycle. He didn't expect my Evo Bomber. And also didn't expect my Evo Skellies. He should give up right here, but I guess he's gonna try to come this back. It's Ruben, and he has a pretty good matchup because I can't really defend RG, but I feel like it's it's way too late for him to win this game because I already have a tower, and when I only need to defend one minute into the game and I have a full tower, I don't think he can yeah, take my tower or something, but we will see. Okay, really nice. Fisherman is almost dead. I can just for my bomber, go for my bomber here and block the lane, so he can't really go for a good RG. His next RG is Evo, so, or this RG that he has now. Yeah, this is Evo RG. He goes for Evo RG. Yeah, I guess he has one more good push in him, but... <laughs> okay. okay. He goes for his monk. I have my Evo Skelly, so... Okay, he goes for Evo Archers, but... What does he have against these Evo Skellies? He has nothing, man. <laughs> the Evo Skellies completely destroy him. Look at that. That's not even gonna be a shot. Also, I have the Evo Bomber there, so 
that's just game over here. <laughs> Bro, just let it go, man. Okay, I guess he's just trying to keep his tower at this point. <laughs> Is he gonna RG? He's actually still trying, <laughs> but he's just defending now. Okay, I'm just not gonna play anything. Really nice game here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're in the last game for today against this guy. This guy always runs Mortar, so yeah, gonna be a pretty bad matchup again. Because, <laughs> yeah, Mortar is always pretty bad. You don't have the best answers against Mortar. But with the Evo Bomber, it's not too bad, I guess. But they can just protect the Mortar and the Evo Bomber does nothing, so... Okay. But he's not running the main version that he normally runs, so... Okay. Okay, he goes for Mortar. I'm just gonna Valk and then I can go for my Evo Bomber. Okay. Good that I didn't go for my Evo Bomber instantly. That's what I meant. He can just like... If I went for my Evo Bomber there, that would have been horrible. Okay. Evo Skellies, please. <laughs> okay, they killed the Mortar, that's good. He has the King Tower activated, but... It's not too bad. Okay, can that go on tower? Okay, no, it can't. Maybe if I played it one more tile up and to the left, then it would have connected, but I'm not sure though. Maybe that's a safe spot. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't have log, but he still has good answers with the bomber and stuff. So, still gonna be pretty difficult, but I feel like he doesn't really know what he's doing, because he's not running his main deck. Okay, because this guy is <laughs> just a one trick. He always runs that tornado, mortar, and rocket cycle deck. <laughs> okay, this is Evo Mortar. Not gonna take any risks. I'm just gonna rocket that. Okay, he goes for Nado. I mean, interesting Nado. He gets one mortar shot, so I guess it was worth it, but yeah, <laughs> pretty risky Nado. But now he doesn't have Nado to defend the barrel, and he's not gonna be able to pull my bomber away. <laughs> Look at that, that's that's three shots on tower. Actually, there was a bad NATO because my Evo Bomber got way more damage than his Evo Mortar. So, yeah, okay. Interesting night. I feel like that's a pretty bad night because, yeah, I can just go for Evo Skellies here. And that Bomber's not dying, so... <laughs> he doesn't have anything for Barrel now. Bro's getting outplayed. He's overcommitting so much on offense. And then he can't defend. Just gonna go for Valk because... Yeah, I can't let him predict my bomber and get a lock onto tower. <laughs> Look at that Evo bomber. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna play defense from here on. And try to sneak in a few barrels. I mean, he doesn't really have anything right now, right? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, that's on tower, man. <laughs> we predicted the skellies there. Gonna BM this guy because this guy always BMs me with a 100-0 matchup. But when it's not a 100-0, he always loses to me. So, <laughs> GG's. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you for the next video.